All right, YouTube, what's going on today? We got a pretty cool project for you guys. This is a 2017 Audi A7. It's got a few damages done to the car, but the main one is the rear end of the car. You guys can tell it is just smashed in the rear end. So this is going to go on frame, going to get pulled out and replaced. And also the trunk lid is going to get replaced. Rear reinforcement bar is going to get replaced. Um, while the car is still here, uh, we'll be working on the rear bumper. And there's this small spot on the front bumper. I have to get this fixed. And a few more other areas. There is a few stress marks here. Get that fixed. So let's start working on taking off the front bumper and start fixing that crack. guys so the bumper is all disassembled ready to go this is the crack that we're going to be fixing here we're gonna to have to clean all this paint off and then start stitching this crack and start getting it bonded there's also a few stress marks here we're gonna start cleaning off all this paint and getting it all fixed so let's start working on that So that epoxy has just now dried up and it's holding on very strong. <clears throat> it's not going anywhere. There's these holes, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera. That's where the, this little trim piece is going to be clipping in. So after I'm going to bond all this, I'm going to get a Dremel and just Dremel these holes out. That way that trim is going to clip in. Once that's done, we're going to sand off all of this uh, stress marks. Cause it's just cracked paint so we're gonna have to remove that and primer probably half the bumper so we'll get to that later this side of stress marks also and there also pretty much we have to primer like half the bumper so we'll get to that once it's uh all bonded and ready to go guys so I just now finished bonding all of this now I gotta start sanding all of this with 320 and getting all this ready for primer I need to 
sand this down all the way to the original primer or the actual plastic because these stress marks are cracks inside the paint. So the only way to remove it is to remove the actual paint, lay it down with new primer. So let's we'll start working on that. All right guys, so we got the car on the frame. I'm gonna start mounting it onto the frame here pretty soon, but this is the extent of the damage. We also took the trunk off because we're gonna need that off to work on the quarter panel. We're also gonna have to take apart all of this wiring, just get it kind of out of the way so we can start drilling out all the spot welds for this quarter panel. Alright guys, so I just taped up the rear bumper, it's ready for primer, let's start working on the front bumper. Let's get it all taped up, start mixing some primer, and get the primer all laid down on these bumpers, so let's start working on that. That was for sanding purposes. And we're done.
do is we're putting a quarter panel on. First test fit. Now finished all the framework on the Audi. The body lines are pretty good. Everything looks like it's done the way it should be done. Door closes nice and good. Body line is straight. Same thing with the trunk. This body line is good. We're gonna be pulling this in the prep station uh, so we can start doing all the body work. Um, obviously get this filled in, we'll grind it down, filled in. This seam here and this seam here, we're gonna get all that grinded down, nice and flush, get it bondoed, uh, clean all this up, seam seal all the areas where we welded it, of course. We will be painting this quarter panel, obviously, possibly the door. I gotta talk to my brother, Serge, who's gonna be painting it. Um, trunk, there's this one little edge here. We gotta get this pulled out and get that bondoed, make sure it's all nice and straight. And we're gonna be painting this core panel. There's a gash right here. And I think there's a dent right here. So we're gonna get that fixed. I think there's something possibly there or not. Anyways, and then obviously rear bumper, front bumper, and then it should be good to go. Let's start working on all of that. So welds have been grinded down. Now let's go ahead and drop this car into the prep station and start sanding everything down and applying body filler to all these cuts. Everything looks good. All right, y'all, so we're gonna be removing this rear door. That way it's gonna give me much more room to work in this area here. It's just a mount here and then two hinges and the plug. Some areas are a little bit harder to reach with that orbital sander, like in here or in here. Go ahead and get some 80 grit sandpaper and start sanding it down with my hand. And we're gonna start applying Bondo here pretty soon, so.
I'll just sand it down this dent and this little section here and this dent here. So got it all wiped down. It's all nice and dry. Let's go ahead and start applying body filler to those areas. So pretty much got everything filled in, sanded down with 180. Now I just have to finish everything off with a 320 grit sandpaper. So remove all the scratches so that the primer can fill everything in uh, because primer won't fill in anything lower than 320. So you're gonna see it through the paint. So 320 is the final finish for all this Bondo. So let's we'll start getting everything sanded down and finished off and then we're gonna start taping it all up for primer so we'll start working on that guys okay, so i just now ended up sanding all the bondoed areas now I just gotta wipe everything down, do like a final wipe down, and start masking up the entire car so we can start applying primer to the car. So we'll start working on that.
So we just now finished the car. Everything just looks awesome. Um, core panels are all good. Everything's nice and clean. Our client is gonna be coming and picking up the car today. We just have a few minor touch-ups we gotta do, just like buff out this little area here and same thing on the other side. But other than that, car is ready and it's good to go. Um, he was disassembling you know, the rear bumper. He took apart all the trunk lining. And here, let me show you guys. And just overall the interior just needs to get put together and he decided he was going to be doing that because he obviously took everything apart for us which was pretty helpful but other than that everything is perfect like the car is ready to go door closes perfectly this seam here or this body line here is pretty straight got the window in trunk closes like very good But yeah, the only thing left to do is you gotta put the rear bumper on and car is ready to go. All right guys, so that's all we got for you guys in this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop me a like. If you guys have any kinds of comments or any kinds of questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.